Guys, this is going to be strange because I have no idea how this is going to work, but welcome to Major Minor. It's the game of stolen assets. I have no idea. I, I saw this, it was like a pound on Steam. I've seen it on, on, on phone games for a while now, but Major Minor, everybody. And I believe it's a graphic novel. Hello, Pocket Dragon. That one wearing a gear on her neck, I know. I resonate with that one. But here we go. Using multiple save files is highly recommended. Both keyboard and controller are support for this. We're going to go with keyboard. F4 will enter windowed mode. F5 will return to menu. Interesting. Please enjoy. And choose wisely. Ha. <laughs> Maybe. Tornius. Perhaps. Where am I? Is this... Outer space? No. It absolutely can't be. I'd never survive in the void. I scan my surroundings. What I see should be an impossibility. A luminescent nebula gazes back at me. It twinkles, dancing across the sky. It's beautiful, but I'm not here to stargaze. As I take in this scenario, I notice some key things. My feet are not on solid ground. I appear suspended. And for some reason, I am able to hear and breathe. Those are two things you can't do in space. I can this as a blessing and focus on breathing. There were exercises I could use to ca there were exercises I could use to calm myself down. One. Two, three, four, five. Before I can count any higher, though, I'm interrupted. And I don't know what Wings of Change is, but I there is a demo included with this for that, so. <clears throat> At that moment, I realize I'm not here by myself. I feel a hand rest upon my shoulder, and I shiver. I expect to feel fear, but a rush of calm overtakes me. There is, yeah. Hello. And welcome to the Ark. This is a very special place, you see. Only a select few are allowed here. This is home to those touched by fate, imbued with a power most would call fiction. Others have come, but now it's your turn. He also has a gear. First and foremost, I require a name. Something to enter into the annals of time. Hello, Timo. You must ensure you aren't forgotten. I will be Lumi. <clears throat> Lumi, hmm. It has a nice ring to it. I'm sure you'll be remembered. My name, you ask? I'm afraid that's not important. No one, remember, no one will remember me after this. Even if I am a very sexy looking yin boy. Your presence here pretends to a grand fate. Not just for you, but for the universe too. That is the purpose of those who come here. To that end, what else do they call you? Your surname is just important as important. And out of curiosity, I must know. Alright, okay, fine. He's got a gear in his hand too, I noticed that. <clears throat> Enter. <clears throat> Lumikinos, huh? Very well. The pleasure is mine. G giving me your name, the deed is done. Your service to me and the Ark is pledged. But do not worry, you're not a slave. Your service rewards you with a power. Something the most would kill to achieve. Others must bend to the rules of this world, but for you, the opposite rings true. You are no longer a, w a victim of circumstance. When you make a choice, reality will bend. Your every whim will fall in your lap. The universe now accommodates you. <clears throat> this is the power granted to you by the Ark. This is the power granted to you by me. Are you the Ark? Oh, 
It appears that you're fading away. Do you long to return to Earth? I understand there is a fear in the unknown. I will find you again soon. Perhaps then we can talk a little more. Don't be scared of me. I mean no harm. This is just the part where they imbue you with godly powers. I am digging the music. Would you like to save your game? Yes. Yes, I would. And save file one. Save. <laughs> Chapter one. The sky. Phantom Blackstar, welcome in. Hello. You need boy made let me a good a god boy. Yes. Uh <clears throat> I feel a rush of speed as I'm shot back into my body. It was almost as if my spirit momentarily left me. I never said this was a dating sim. I said this was a graphic novel. It <laughs> makes you think of Final Fantasy. Sinful, you're just addicted to Final Fantasy. I understand. Who was that man? And just what was the arc? Train crashing coming. Du -du 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 -du. <clears throat> I scratched my head in a state of sheer confusion. Nerd. It definitely wasn't a dream. I know that for sure. When you wake up from a dream, you know it wasn't real. You laugh it off. Continue on with your life. That's not the sensation I was feeling right now. I try to ground myself in reality. I take in my surroundings. The noises. The people. I focus on my destination. Tokyo, Japan. I feel, I feel myself calm down. Slowly, but surely. The anxiety starts to replace itself with excitement. Though many would argue what the difference is. Who didn't dream of going to Tokyo in their lifetime? It had to be one of the bucket on the bucket list of millions of people. I mean it's on my bucket list. And it was the first of many places I'd visit. On what would surely be the best year of my life. I sit there, holding the armrest with armrest with a fierce grip. It wouldn't be long until I figured out how wrong I was. Chapter 1. The Calm Before the Storm I think it's a... Uh, I don't know what that was. It was a squirrel and something. I tried my best to maintain my composure. A can of pop star held firmly in my grasp. I wasn't one to drink energy drinks so leisurely. But I picked up what you might call an addiction. Ferret? Ferret sounds about right. If there are any raddies, you must romance them. <laughs> of course. Just for you, Tarnius. For a little bit more context, I'll say this. Popstar was a leading brand of energy drink. In fact, it was almost as popular as soda. It had full endorsement from a famous pop idol. A contest was held to coincide with this idol's new tour. Two special cans were super positive with the rate of eight. Hello, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? My name is Lamentric, and I am a variety streamer. Today we are doing a little graphic novel about fairies. Yes, yes, about fairies. Called Major Minor. How are you all doing? Paul, how was your stream? Were you doing Mario? Were you doing the awesomeness that was Mario Maker 2? Those that found them got to travel with the tour. Almost like a golden ticket from old childhood stories. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Luca. I love his dance. The sassy dance is real. It's awesome. If you're doing Mario, I'm already throwing a burnout on it. Oh no! P Paul, you can't be burnt out on it. I bought it just for you! I bought it to make levels for you! <laughs> <clears throat> I have to play your levels too. You have to keep b making levels so I can play your levels and then you, I can make levels for you to play my levels and then we can play levels and levels and levels and circles and levels and circles. Uh, how far have I got? This is literally the first chapter. We literally got given god powers, or we were told we were given god powers. We don't know what that means yet. And now we're on the train. The music and confirms sound 
It, yeah, it does. It's very RPG Maker. Hello, America. Welcome back. The contest made the drink skyrocket in popularity. It took the world by storm. A cultural phenomenon. The chance to live a life of luxury was hard to pass up. No, you pocket dragon. I know I love it. I love it too. I love Sassy Dragon. Sassy Lumi. Sassy Lumi is awesome. Humor today was kind of mess. I just said some love. Oh, well, Paul, Paul, you're all, you know, I always appreciate when you send love my way because we send much love your way. You awesome, adorable cat boy. So I'm going to give you one of these. Mwah. And you can, you can take a chill and just enjoy the serene music. In case you didn't know, the name of our idol was Clace. Class? Clace? Class Clace? Classy Clacy? Show one of the characters, come on. So when I say I picked up something of an addiction, that might actually be the understatement of the year. The odds of winning were literally in the billions. So it took a fair amount of chugging in order to win. I asked myself if it was worth it, but that's subjective. At least that's what I told myself in between jitters. Being one of the lucky two came with its consequences. That's what the media called the prospective winners. Before I can continue thinking, I'm interrupted. So I'm walking down the aisle has a nasty fall. A brace of descent and land on the seat beside me. That takes a special kind of skill, doesn't it? So, Pocket Dragon, what he did is he drank a lot of Popstar, which is basically a play on the word Rockstar, which is the, the energy drink. So, he drank a lot of it because there was a, a idols competition where two people could be lucky winners to go on tour with the idol around wherever it is that they're going. I can imagine Lud and Lud Sassy Dance with pom poms. I could do Sassy Dance with pom poms. So, he won. Is that alright if I play a game instead of watching your stream? Of course you can, Mirko. Enjoy the sweet sounds of her music in her voice while you play your game. He quickly rises to his feet, wearing a look of panic. And this is cute squirrel boy! Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I nod my head. It's not the end of the world. Aside from a minor frighten, everything is fine. Case of Verigo. Although, maybe we could talk to pass the time. It was starting to get boring, sitting by myself. First time on the train? Don't know what came over me. I just got dizzy and then BAM! Sounds like someone has a case of vertigo. I apologize again. Sorry for intruding, and I really am. I try explaining to him that everything's fine. But he seems to think he's committed an awful crime. <coughs> Your choices will affect the way you are treated. Oh no. Before we can respond, however, an alarm sounds loudly. The train comes to a screeching halt. Mechanical failure? That's not good. Oh no! What was that? Are we going to die? I can't help but snicker at that. He's clearly one of those catastrophic thinkers. Good thing I brought a conch. Now I can be in power if we're stranded. He goes to rummage through his bag. A bit of a bookworm too, isn't he? I decided to just sit back and wait it out. In situations like this, there was nothing else to do. I try and think of how I could pass the time. It might be a while until we're mobile again. Can't use my phone for anything other than texts. The data charges all abroad were a death sentence. Look at uh, Fox, thank you for the host. How you thank you very much. You awesome fox are you. But everybody back home would already be asleep. There was quite the time difference to play here. My phone vibrates, and I go to look at it. Almost as if I knew if it knew I was thinking about it. It's Rook, the man I'm meeting at the train station. Are you almost there? I can't wait all day, you know. He's wondering where I am, and I'm not sure what to say. Should I play cool, or let him know it's stalled? I'm gonna go with letting him know. I'm gonna be honest. Rook didn't like your response. I chose to be honest with him. Wouldn't want things getting off to a bad start. But somehow I feel like that's exactly what happened. His reply signals a feeling of discontent. Gah! Uncertainty! My least favourite thing to hear. Very well. But there was nothing I could do. And of course, I was truthful. I could rest easy. I noticed that the squirrel is also 
eagerly texting away. I put my phone back in my pocket and reclined in my seat. <laughs> Bitch, don't ask a question if you can't handle the answer. Exactly. I wasn't exactly sure how Rook was related to Clace or Class. Clace? I'm going to call him Clace, because that's what I'm taking as Clace. But he had to be pretty high up there. I was only given concrete details last week. I thought there'd be limos and media coverage, but I was quickly told that this was not the case. I was getting picked up by a regular guy named Rook. I wonder if he would go on f go full on cliche with a large piece of cardboard that says Lumi. No oh man, I really hope we'll be okay. My train rides are usually incident free. Usually. But he said that this was his first time. He seems to contradict himself without realizing it. Well, as fun as awkward silences are, we should probably get to know each other. Just in case we're stuck here forever. Oh, how fun that would be. You can call me Keela. I'm here to, well, I'm here to see them friends. What about you? What brings you to Tokyo? It's nice to meet another English speaker. I only speak Japanese at a preschool level. I'm a bit tenser, but I stopped myself short. I have flashbacks of when I signed the NDA. I wasn't allowed to publicly reveal why I was here. At least, not until the media made it official. But then again, what harm could it do? It likely never finds it likely never find itself back out to me. Plus Kilo could be impressed with who I really am. A friend would be a great thing to have all abroad. Some choices have immediate consequences, should I tell him? I'll keep it secret for now. Mm, I'm sorry, I can't say I, I want to stay truthful so far. I decided to stick with my morals and not break the NDA. That was probably for the best. Who wants a lawsuit? If I did let my, my secret and word go back to work, well, I'm pretty sure it'd be hell to pay. Oh, you can't say? That's cool, I guess. I'm just here to visit my brother. Nothing to hide on my end, really. I thought he said he was here to meet friends. Maybe he's here to meet his brother? That seems odd. Nothing to hide, huh? I feel bad that I can't tell him. He clearly realizes I'm hiding something. I'm still really excited. It's my first time in Tokyo. Gotta help all the maid cafes. You just want to work at one, don't lie to me. Of course. Typical tourist. What about you? Would you ever go to a maid cafe? I've heard they're just the best. Maid cafes? Those are much like restaurants in Western culture. However, your waitress actually stays at your table. To con you converse with them, play games, get to know them. I bet that's what I'm thinking, Pocket. It was definitely a foreign concept to me. How do I respond to Kila? This choice will affect the flow of the story. Hmm. I'd love to go to one. Cool. We'll have to keep in touch. I've looked online at all the tourist sites. There's some great ones in Akihabara. Before I can continue talking, the train moves again. And the passengers are shaken up by the sudden movement. Kila beams a white smile. As if this was a major victory. Wow, I was scared for nothing. That didn't really last long at all. He sure seems like quite the character. If he did end up going to those maid cafes, well, there'd be no shortage of, shorter of, shortage of entertainment. I wonder if the same could be said of Rook. More importantly, I wonder how he'd treat me. He certainly seems like an interesting guy. For a moment, I'm glad I didn't break my NDA. I don't think I would have been able to face him if I did. I find it odd that I'm analyzing my previous actions. As if I could have changed what I said and what I did. Perhaps it was because of what of that weird vision I had. I can control my own destiny, or something like that. What a ridiculous thing to comprehend. If I could control my own destiny, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be off somewhere living a life of luxury. But there's no use thinking like that. So I stop. Whoa. At that exact moment, a pain attacks my chest. More pain than I've ever felt before. It pulses with my increasingly fast heartbeat. I go to clutch my gut instinctively, only to find out that I can't move. Everyone around me seems to have frozen in place. I start to panic. I go to focus on my breathing, like before. 
but I can't breathe either. I sense someone behind me, and then I feel it. That hand on my shoulder again. The pain fades away, and I gasp loudly for air. Is there something about his touch? Terribly sorry for earlier. Our meeting seems to have been cut short. Perhaps you desired to return to Earth. After all, the universe bends to you now. Am I that frightening? Either way, I sense conflict within you. Do you think what happened earlier was a dream? Yet now, your dream stands before you. I am real. The Ark is real. The power that you have? Oh yes, it's real too. I am not here to lecture you anymore. Your words and actions are your own, as is the power I have given you. However, you will be asked to help me. You are not receiving this power for free, but I will let you run free for today. When I see you again tonight, I will tell you everything. And then, your journey will begin. Yes, I'd like to save my game. Please, save and file slot two. Clingy much? I was immediately shot back to my own reality. But you can't just give someone a gift and tell them they're indebted. That's not how it works. I mean, that's how God, this, this, this gene god boy seems to be doing it. Or at least, the reality I was comfortable with. But now I know one thing is for sure. That really happened. The Ark wasn't just a dream. He actually gave me some sort of power. Hey, if me daddy, welcome back. I have no idea what to think right now. The confusion inside of me intensifies. It's like millions of voices are fighting in my head, trying to make sense of everything that happened. Hey, Fergonometry, how you doing? Just came back to say goodnight. Don't say goodnight! Hey, are, are, you, are you coming? Keyless stands before me, his luggage in tow. I notice that I'm also standing up. It appears that my body was mo has moved on its own. Almost like something momentarily took over. Sleep well, Vin uh, Phantom. Did, did I say something wrong? Gosh, I need to watch my mouth. I tell him that he did nothing wrong. I let him know that I was lost on my own train of thought. He seems to giggle, as if it, this was a pun. Hey, noise. I decided to take credit for it. Perhaps in an attempt to ease my inner turmoil. At least he waited for me. Or I'd be clueless right now. Hey Crafty, how you doing? Welcome in. Uh, that's the last thing I'd want to be. Alone and confused in Tokyo. Bad combination. I apologize for the delay as we exit the train. Fright looms over me for the rest of the day. Whatever happened tonight would change everything. Dun dun dun. Earlier that day, in the courtrooms of Terra, a planet far from Earth, yet closer than was known to any. Huh? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, I present to you, Lord Player, your current leader in the race for mayor, and with that, your future king. I've been his humble servant for years, and through that, I am certain of one thing. He will bring terror to an age of prosperity. Oh wow, well, how am I going to voice this boy? Hmm. 
I'm very posh. Hello. Come now, Riley. You embarrass me. I'd rather speak for myself. I'm flattered, but they need to hear me. I shall speak of this prosperity on my own. This is something every Terran must hear. Under our current king, we are doomed. Forgive me, Lord Fla Flair. I did not mean to embarrass you. Not in front of all these people. I mean you no quarrel, Riley. Have a seat. I'll call you as needed. Yes, my lord. Allow me to ask you all a question. You do not need to answer vocally. Just ponder on it as food for thought. If I may paint an image in your minds. You have a starving family. Your only desire is to feed them. You work harder than you ever have before. But you only have enough food to feed half. The rest of your family will simply starve. Well, before you can eat, there's a knock. A violent rapping on the door of your home. You, lean, you learn that it's someone new to Terra. They fled the destruction of their home. All they want is a new life on our soil. They beg for your food, almost dying. But if you feed them, your family suffers. In this case, charity is a curse. They live, and your family may die. So what would you do? Would you help a stranger? Even if it goes on to hurt your family? I believe I know what your answer is. Why would I let my family die? Why would I give a stranger my food? I do not blame you if this is your answer. You worked so hard for the sustenance. Why are you expected to just give it away? Eat a quarter and... Of the, wait, eat a quarter of the rest to save another quarter? Mm, half the portions you could, I suppose. You know, everyone could eat a little bit. Why is Terra expected to give it away? This is the portrait painted of our world. A place to be taken advantage of. Used. We can barely sustain ourselves. Yet we need to care for these immigrants? Your current king is making fatal mistakes. He gives everything away freely. And he calls himself the Immortal King. If he truly lived for several millennia, well, you think he'd have common sense. Something terror has been lacking as of late. Every immigrant we accept, they're another stroke on our canvas. One that paints us as lax and lazy. The more we accept into our world, the more we condemn ourselves to accept. This is the power of that world of mouth. World of mouth. At this rate, we will all die. Regardless of our origin, we will starve. I wanted a strict immigration law. But even this would not help us. Harry, put this. You don't allow a disease to run rampant. We need to cure this blight permanently. A vote for player will give us severance. A disconnect from all other worlds. No longer will they be able to use us. If elected, I will devote my life to this. I will ensure Terra's independence and our base right to live fulfilling lives. Only then will we be free from immigration. Only then will our resources be our own. That is all. Will there be any questions? 
Wow. That's a sassy fox boy. Like, wow. Just look at that face. Oh my god, that is... That is... Sass. Wow. Sassy fox boy. God, what voice am I gonna use for this guy? Like, hello? I don't know. I have no idea. Um... Is a girl? Do that. I yeah. mean, it might be a girl. Like, I have a question for you, Lord Player. If you're accepting, of course. Please speak, my child. My name is Kaylin. Please refrain from calling me child. I'm not one of your blind followers. Ugh. The real problem lies of your greed. You're a noble, you have so much food. Why do you hoard and say we've run short? What? If people like you learn to share, well, we'd all be leading happy lives. You're a single man, yet I've seen some inside reports. You hoard enough food to feed dozens. Inside reports? Wouldn't it be more fitting to share? The supply is there, Lord Player. Your campaign is based on a lie. God, I hate this voice. And why do you have so much food? You don't look that round to me. This is why Lord Velasquez wants a... A teeth? A tite? A teif? I don't know. You, you were right the first time. Not on everybody, just the rich. So I don't think you care about our food? Or any resources for that matter? You only care about removing foreigners. So my question is, what is the true reason you seek severance? Tch. What gives you the right to say this? You're speaking to your future king. Future king? Don't make me laugh. You're avoiding the question. Where is your proof? Accusations require evidence, Kaelin. Something I'm sure you don't have. I laugh at the notion that I am hoarding. Especially enough to feed dozens of people. I know the importance of giving. I would never keep that while others starve. Really? You fooled me. That story you just told everyone? It was about not sharing and giving? I asked why you seek severance and you go and get this defensive? Your hatred speaks volumes, Lord Player. There's no need for, to discriminate here. Everyone deserves food and shelter, not just those native to Terra. I know, right, Tarnius? I seek severance to be independent. I only want to share amongst our own. I don't want a reputation of charity. I want Terra to thrive on its own. If we keep giving things away, we only give off a bad image of ourselves. Well, even if you did achieve severance, we'd still be full of immigrants. Not only that, but their descendants too. How does that make you feel? Huh? Ugh. Simple. We'd establish a new Terra. Once we are severed, we'd all be natives. Would unite as one self-sustaining world. Funny you should bring that up now. Rebranding our entire world? You think that'd be part of your campaign? Typical politician. Making things up. Turning all the negatives into positives? I'll give you credit, but I'm not fooled. I ask again for proof, child. Fine. Your servant, Kabu, has all of it. He provided the peculiar shipping manifest. It should be all that we need to prove this. What? And the evidence is subs wait, subs subtinates his claims. Claims of hearing immigrant hate speech, a nightly pastime of yours, it seems. I'll let him handle it for he from here. Oh, wow. He's an otter. He's a cute art boy. I love it. 
He's kind of cute. Ooh, right? Right? Um, fuck, what's his voice gonna be? Um. Oh, shit. Voices. Voices are hard. Wait, he was cute. This blue aura boy. I need to play this game. Why have I not played this game? <laughs> Crafty. <laughs> I'm sitting here ahead of the hint of murder in the air. I guess I'd tap it. I mean, I would. Um, you would? You mean you guess you would? <laughs> he is cute. What am I gonna call it? What am I gonna... Hmm. I can confirm all... Wait. I can confirm all that Kaelin said. Kabu, you traitor! What have I done to deserve this? At first, I thought Player was my friend. I know I'm not from Terra, but he made me feel wanted, like a son. But he started to hate immigrants so much, I realized more that I was only being used. He just wanted a cheap servant. And now recently, he's been hoarding food, creating nothing but an artificial shortage. One he can conveniently blame on immigrants. And one that he can use as cover, he conveniently hides his hatred while supporting his campaign for mayor. The problem isn't those coming to Terra. It's the greed of those that live on it. Our immortal king speaks the truth. A teat on the upper class. Yes, then everyone would be fed. Vote for Velasquez's continued reign. You know you speak lies. Why are you doing this, Kabu? Please look at this shipping manifest. I will place it here for all to see. That you may know player's true nature. Remember, he owns lots of land on Terra. This is but one of many instances. I'm positive he hoards at his other homes. Forged. The evidence is forged. I do not trust such infantile accusations. It is likely created by Velasquez. Riley, have a word with the people. Ensure they realize Cabu's deceit. And guards, please detain those two men. <laughs> Make Terra great, great again is the achievement that just unlocked. I don't actually know who that they, they are. <sighs> What's this? What's what, Buster? We're playing a game. We notice that there aren't many people standing around. The initial rust must have already subsided. At least Kilo waited for me. How long was I out? Well, I guess this is it, huh? I kind of pictured a grander entrance, but there's really nobody here. Oh well, I should have expected less. That way you don't get disappointed. It's better than getting your hopes up. That was sh sure an odd way of looking at things. Of course, nothing about Kilo is normal. Hey, pull out your phone. We should exchange numbers, just in case. I'll be in touch about the maid cafes. I wrote up some, wrote up on some really cool ones. He pulls out his phone and awaits my information. I pull the phone out of my pocket and do the same. After a few moments pass, we exchange our digits. You got Kilo's contact information. You got his number. Thanks. It was nice to meet you. I'm always glad to make a new friend. He starts to scurry away. I hope he's a texter. I hate getting phone calls. It seems so weird. You're late, Terugs! Why are you so late? Exchange those digits. Damn right I did. Our generation is definitely hooked on the text messages. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Rook never gave me any detailed information. I expected he'd be right here when I got off. But I don't see anyone at all, actually. I quickly turn a corner and bump into a helpless woman. Oh no, sinful. I'm gonna need your 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 vocal experiences. <laughs> Will you? I am, yes. Alright, so let's see, what kind of voice do I wanna give her? You know what, since she's a wolf and she's, you know, I'll just, I'll probably just use my normal voice for her then. Hey, 
Watch where you're going, will you? I step back and immediately apologize. I tell her I was just looking for my friend, Rook. I explain the fact that I am a foreigner and... Foreigner? Oh, so am I. But I'm no concierge. You should probably tell your friend to meet you in the atrium. She points towards a large open area. I guess that's a good enough landmark. I thank her and start to follow her direction. But before I can get too far, a hand grips my shoulder. Oh no, could it be that man again? Please, just give me some peace and quiet today. God, what am I going to call his voice? Hey. That's you not... want me to... I was going to say, do you want me to try his? Oh, God. Sinful the man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. Fuck it. Okay, I just have to mute upstream because I can't listen to myself talk. Go Are for you it. so lonely that you've taken up talking to yourself? That's weird. I'm extremely relieved. For a moment I thought it might have been that man again. But no. This must be Rook. What does he mean by talking to myself? Whatever. I'm glad you're here. The PA speakers mentioned possible delays. And that's not something I can tolerate. We're on a strict schedule. S T R I C T strict. He starts typing away in his tablet. Strict. Adjective. Acting in close conformity to requirements or principles. Ever heard of that word before? Wow. I thought Kilo was a character. Although I guess I would be a little upset if he was boring. No one likes a stick in the mud. So, where's the other one? I was confused. I wasn't quite sure what he meant. Ask him for clarification. The other contest winner, I mean. You were supposed to be together. Wait. What? Ugh. Insufferable. I hate being lied to. Drop the act. Seriously, where is he? I tell him I have no idea what he's talking about. I didn't meet anyone in the train except for Kilo. Wait, could that mean... No way. Out of the shadows, someone shuffles towards us. Hey, you two. You were watching us? That's exceedingly creepy. What a group. We have ourselves a stalker? And someone who talks to themselves too. I really don't get what he means. I was clearly getting directions from that woman. I wasn't watching you, but I was just shy. And hold on a second. You're the ever contest winner? He really emphasizes the word you're. I'm unsure if I should take offense to this or not. 
Well, no, I'm glad I didn't break the NDA. Rook would have found out for sure. I guess I should have expected it. Both on the same train, both English speakers. It adds up. Huh. Well, either way. <laughs> Alright, Rook, the chat or calm down. I have to say, I'm really glad it's you. Oh no, Eriko. Welcome back. I feel like we got along on the train. Even if it was only for a few minutes. We can go to maid cafes for sure now. We're spending so much time together. Isn't that cool? I'm ecstatic. Would you like to save your game? I damn well would like to save my game. I'll just make this one save fell free. So I just realized by seeing his tail, he is an otter. What? Brook? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. A maid cafe, you say? I'd highly advise against that. <laughs> Keep those a bottom no They're just a waste of time. Plus, you two don't look the type. Maid cafes attract a certain click. I think that's what that is, yeah. I think it's click. Maids aren't strict enough for him. <laughs> hey, Shenrir. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to mean, I guess. Hmm. Thanks for making plans without me, though. It's nice to know my input is valuable. He's so rude. He is so rude. <laughs> Well, what did you have in mind? Nothing, really. I guess that's where you get off, Lucky. There's been something of a delay. You won't meet Clace for a day or two. So my new task is simple. Waste time. I'm supposed to take you where you want. That is, until things are back on track. And all, all I can hear is the scroll going, Maid Cafes! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, then why were you mad? We got to choose where to go? You didn't even have any ideas, Rook. I'm changing the subject now. What a dick. I know, right? If you want to go to a maid cafe... Well, I know a few hot ones to attend. Most of them are in Electric Town. <laughs> I think I've seen ukuleles so less high strung than the Czar. <laughs> Electric Town? You don't mean... Akihabara? Akihabara. Akihabara. Or Akihabara. I liked how it sounded the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. We all spend lots of time there. It's the place to be for tourists. I've got to say, I quite like all their outfits. Like, they all look good. Right? I agree with you. That... and Clace loves the atmosphere. A lot of his outings are in... He said... Akihabara? Yeah, or to Akihabara. Wow! We'll get along great then! But you mentioned something came up. Is everything okay? Why the delay? Oh, it's fine. Clace got into a fight. Him and his tour manager disagree. A lot. So 
sounds like me a new tour manager. <laughs> but Singe, I guess. But Singe always manages to quell him. Oh. I hope it's nothing too serious. It'll be fine. Place is a hothead. He'll be fine after venting and relaxing. Anyway, we better get going. Won't get anywhere standing here all day. It's high time we ditch this station. Would you like to save for game? Yes. Yes, I would. Quite, quite, I quite would. We're still in chapter one. I have no idea how many chapters this has. After a few moments of walking, we exit the station. I feel a soft breeze take a sharp inhalation. It's nice to feel some fresh air after all that time. The plane and train ride here were definitely stuffy. Interesting. The air here feels different. Not in a bad way. I mean, just different. Although it's probably expected in a foreign country. The air almost, almost smells cleaner than it does back home. Whoa! What's with that smell? Not what you're used to, huh? Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I feel like that's what they tell the animals in Soprano Morale all the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoy the fresh air. <sighs> He's such a dick. You deserve it. They did rush you onto that train, right? No time to relax after that long flight. But you're good now. Relax and enjoy it. I feel like you already asked him to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, wait! Does that mean we're on the same plane? That's so cool! What are the odds? Actually, it's incredibly probable. We both won the same contest, after all. They likely expensed and bought stuff in sets. I don't say- I don't say that- wait, I don't say this though. I don't want to downplay Kilo. Pretty solid, actually. You both won the same contest, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Enter Rook, the social assassin. Pretty Blurring out the things we don't dare to. I don't think of it that way, I guess. He looks defeated. See? That's why I refrained. Well, we, should st we shouldn't stand around. We didn't leave just to waste time out here. I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. Remember how we said things would be quiet? Well, Clace went and pulled some strings. The kind of strings that get you a limo. We have a limo? Like, just for us? Huh. That was a pleasant surprise, actually. Rook gives us a soft smile as he says the word limo. You can tell he's been waiting to let out that secret. Something like that. We'll use it to move you around town. At least until we leave Tokyo behind. But even then, we'll just rent a new one. This tour is going all sorts of places. You'll get to travel the world in style. 
mood completely reversed. Thanks, Rook. Should we get going then? Where is it? Well, actually, it's right there. Rook points to a limo parked just a few feet away. I never expected we'd get to drive in that. Especially after they mentioned the low key aspect. What kind of contest? So, you know, like in a lot of animes and and possibly in Japan, I don't know if that's actually a thing, there's like those pop, you know, the J-pop, K-pop, idols, stuff like that, you know, the, 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 head, the thing that the whole Vocaloid was like based around. Um, they have like they had like a contest where if you if you found like a golden ticket it was like a like a golden ring pool or whatever um, for this contest like of these energy drinks you got to go and run around Tokyo with this this idol on their tour and they both won this this tour so they're both in Tokyo to run around with this idol and go to maid cafes apparently well played Definitely also a good start now. Minus the whole God Hina thing that's going on. I don't we don't know much about that yet. He knocks in the window, calling to someone inside. After a few moments pass, a new face enters the scene. Oh my, sinful. Oh gosh, uh let's see. So, you two are it. Yeah, I guess. Two winners, remember? We're not here to visit a chocolatier. Not what I meant. Just expecting something else. What does she mean by that? Well, you can call me Jade. It's a pleasure to meet the both of you. The contest just had a year's hype. I built up this weird image in my mind. <laughs> Stupid name caller, Ruby. I mean, yeah. I think she. I think she's gonna be the the one that him that Clay's fell out with. I think they're gonna be the ones with butt heads. Probably. Expected the winners to be larger than life. Hey now, lady, how do you know that we're not larger than life? How do you know that we're- but you just went low-key, because you guys said go low-key. How do you know that, like, Keela here is going to not be wearing sparklers from his ears? <laughs> I apologize if I offended you in any way. Surely you can understand what I meant. We often have these sorts of... I suppose I know what you mean. No offense taken, either. It's nice to meet you too. But speaking of preconceptions, can you tell us a little bit about Clace? I feel like the image in my mind is wrong. You've met him, right? You must have all kinds of inside knowledge. Why have you gone so quiet suddenly? Oh, am I quiet? Yeah. Is this better? Yes. Sorry. Here's a few words I'd use to describe him. <laughs> Self-absorbed. Egotistical. Holier than thou. <laughs> <laughs> Arrogant. Disrespectful. He is the worst. See, I bet you're right. This is the Mandarin butts heads with. Yep. Okay, excuse me? It was a joke, Kila. I'm still learning this humor thing. But I guess I have a few more steps to go. Aterix, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> she has opinions. True. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm making sinful voice to females, because 
She lacks the genitalia that gives her the voice as deep like this. I mean, I did voice one male. Hopefully, I did a good job with it. <laughs> yeah, you know, she she got the. Uh, I just got the douchebag. Got yeah. The douchebag boy. Yeah, and you got douchebag the, boy. And now the douchebag bitchy, lady. <laughs> now the bitchy manager. So. That was her definition of a joke. She doesn't need steps. She needs leaps and bounds. <laughs> this is almost certainly how rumors are started. Someone won't know Welcome she's joking back. and it'll spread. Welcome back, Miracle. Rook tries to teach me in our office. Rook tries to teach me in our off time. That'll be your problem. Rook doesn't have humor. Yeah, exactly. This is like simple try to teach simple. But I guess I've far from mastered it. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> Rook taught her. He's the last person in the world I'd say is funny. Well, I appreciate an honest answer. Of course. Why did you? Of course. He can be shy and silent. But he can also be loud and outgoing. He can be polite and formal. Or he can be crude and lax. So what you're saying is that he can be anything. He can be everything. <laughs> Here in Zootropolis, you can be anything you want to be. Even normal. <laughs> He's just like any one of us. Wow, I called it. <laughs> right? When you're up on the stage, or even when you're doing an interview, you're just putting on an act for the world. I think you'll get along with him just fine. But I don't think you know him yet, either. The amount of people that do is very small. I mean, generally, I want to see this place. I want to see what he looks like. Um, right? Alright. Thanks for answering. Sounds like he's under a lot of pressure. It sucked to have an image to maintain. And about the humor thing? You're doing great. Keep learning. <laughs> wow. Kilo's precious. This boy. They told Kilo's me. so precious. <laughs> they told me I could be anything I wanted, so I became a well, a regular, well-rounded, multi-faceted person. Maltarnius. is deep. Deep. Very deep. I hope you're all enjoying this silly furry game that I have decided I have put on for you all. I hope you, I hope this this tickles you all in ways that you you're enjoying. Whoa. Kilo can lie? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kila. It's always fun to learn. Anyways, let's get ourselves in the limo. Hey, Vray Farisk. Welcome on in. How you doing? We're uh, just having some, some fluffiness going on here. I'm not used to a vision novel. Well, there's a few that I've got to do, Animix. It's trash and I love it. Good. <laughs> we'll get this adventure started. Doing all right? Awesome. I'm glad. Welcome on in. Sounds good. I can't wait. My hype level is off the charts. Kila is the most precious thing and I just want to hug him. He is so energetically <laughs> happy. It's great. I love it. Uh, Outside the courthouse. I thank you. First furry game I got and still haven't gotten past the beginning. I mean, I got it because it's like on sale on Steam and I have downloaded it on my phone and I've played like a minute of it and I'm like, this is cute, I should totally play this more. But then I never play any games on my phone because why would I play games on my phone when I have a, pl a PC and a PlayStation? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, so, you know, I'm, I, I figured streaming it would be fun because people can look at it and see the cute boys and girls and I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Outside the courthouse. Moments later. Oh, look at this sexy boy. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oof. He's, he's wearing the belts, man. He's got all the belts. Hmm. Mm. I don't know what voice to give him, though, because he does look a bit... He gives me very much a... Oh, so do you think that's a lone player? 
voice. <laughs> really? That's the voice he gives you? <laughs> or like, my name is Ezio de Sexio de Florenzi. Do you think that will ruin the player? Oh, hold, hold, wait, hold on the phone. Hold on the phone here. Hold by on the, the phone. Way. So, hold on the phone here. <laughs> it's by not the even way. the same. So we have, we have two. <laughs> shut up. We have two other mods in here. Hey, Noiser Drake, why don't you give this guy a voice? No, bitches, this is my guy. He's sexy. I want him. <laughs> oh my God, Lumi. Stick to the wow. French voice. The French voice has been called. Fine, do the French voice then. Go for it. <laughs> so, do you think that'll ruin player? Oh, buddy. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Are you okay? <laughs> Noise or drink. You're Dr gonna voice this. You're gonna voice this lion. <laughs> Give it a good voice. R Russian. Oh, what's Russian again? Um. What's Russian Dude, again? I'm not Dude, I'm not doing his voice. <laughs> French, I don't know if I want to wait. But what, wait, hold on, what's Russian? Trouble. Someone remind me of what a Russian sounds like. Uh... I don't... I can only I think don't... of German. I can't think of Russian. I can only think of German. Dorsbedonian, comrade. Ah, com hey, comrade, welcome to the steel of the world, comrade. Here we are today to do lion voice. And I mean, this guy's name's Conrad. Only time will tell, comrade. God, I'm not going to remember half these voices. Next stream, they're going to all be like fucking different. It was risky, but we succeeded. I don't think it's a female. Wait. Uh, maybe. Is it? It could be. There is kind of a chest. I don't know. I kind of <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure kind of, Shut up, Aterix. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to suck your blood. Anyway. Um, wait, hold on. <clears throat> we now have our inside man. Galen can operate from within player's home. Oh, so I have to ask. Was the evidence real? I would not get hurt of some of these characters. That would be weird. Maybe. I might want to sit in his lap. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It helped us. Means to an end, I believe this. Eh? We have everything we need to take him out. I doubt... <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. I doubt player will go down without the fight. I want all of these characters. <laughs> it won't be pleasant for Kaelin or Gabo. What do you think you'll do? I'm doing- I'm back into Russian. God damn You're it. You're doing back into Russian. I'm back into Russian. Oh, <laughs> what do you think he'll- I can't do it. It just goes into Russian. <laughs> oh, what do you think he'll do, Endymion? Endymion, what the fuck? It's a name. Endymion. Alright, everyone's Russian. That's it. We've decided. It's either that or they're all gonna be, ho oh, They'll all be put into interrogation, I think! Can we please not? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, yes. Um. <laughs> they'll, all be, they'll all be put into interrogation. What is my voice? I don't know anymore. What are voices? <laughs> Guys, I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, comrade, 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 dictatorship and stuff, and oh my god, murder. They'll all be put into interrogation, I think. But this doesn't cause me much concern. Kaelin has been trained to resist torture. The major fact is that he's inside now. She said. He said. We just need to wait for his correspondence. After that, we can formulate a plan. I think he'll plant some evidence. Something we can find next time we're here. An innocent visit. An incriminating find. Oh, so Kaelin can resist torture, eh? He looks pretty frail to me. And Kabu? He'll probably face the brunt of this. Comrade, it's a worthy sacrifice, isn't it? Kabu did this willingly. Oh, I guess. I can see it now. Assassin's Guild out 
corrupt politician. It's got to help our, it's got to help our reputation, right? Oh, we are the Assassin's Guild. We ha need to have no reputation. <laughs> I guess. Just trying to make conversation. If people found out about us, they'd quickly find that the king funds us. Then he'd be the one getting ousted. <laughs> Fine. So what do we do now? The player situation will remain on standby. We must wait for instructions from Kaelon. Or until we have another off-worlder. Player has been more than happy to take them. With that said, the ritual is our goal. It helps us on both fronts, Conrad. It's funny because his name's Conrad and, you know, Russians say Comrade, so it's almost there. Um. Oh, the ritual? Again? You sound like you're stuck on a loop. Our track record of failure is demotivating. You know Velasquez feels about failure. But when we get an off world there Oh god, I, I swapped them around entirely now. <laughs> but when we get an off world there no matter what. Anyway. Um Comrade fucking stabbed me. <laughs> but then we get an off order, no matter what. If that happens, we bring them to player. We gain his trust for these failures. Am I okay? Never. Never okay. It's symbiotic, comrade. Stab me. <laughs> oh, it's cold, Endymion. Yes, it gives me chills. He walks away. Done with the conversation. Jeez, what a mentor he is. I'll never get anywhere worthwhile. Oh well, a man can dream. Endymion, wait for me! I mean, you are a dream. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Take me, Conrad. <laughs> We're led into a massive limo. Actually, emphasis on the massive. I didn't think it would be this big on the inside. Jade promptly gets situated in the driver's seat. This leaves Rook, Keela, and myself in the back. Wow, this is amazing. It's so spacious and luxurious. Huh? Oh, sorry. I guess I was in my own little world. Actually, it looked like he was staring at Jade. I find myself questioning the relationship of these two. She quickly turned and speaks to us through the divider. So, where to? Unfortunately, we're going to a maid cafe. First of all, Tarnius. Say well, Tarnius. It wasn't my idea. Spare me from any snide insults, Jade. Alright, Brooke. I'll keep them inside. But I think I know which maid cafe you want. If So you're gonna protect this, right? If she takes us to an all-male maid cafe, Mm -hmm. Just get a laugh. I know, right? <laughs> Just get a laugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just no mocking, okay? This is their. This is for their benefit, not mine. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> in Tokyo, I there's a yaoi cafe. I wouldn't put it past Tokyo. Thanks, Jade. It means a lot to me. 
Alright, let's fasten our seatbelts. Don't want anyone dying before the tour. What, is she some crazy driver? Anyways. Yes, this is the really awkward part. Where we're supposed to bond or whatever. <laughs> when I first read that, I said, "Where are, we're gonna? I'm gonna get you bond, or whatever, or something." Like that. I was like, "Wait, hold on, this took a turn." <laughs> wow, this took a one a, a one eighty. Whoa! Like, Whoa! <laughs> he cringes as he says the word bond. Instead of acknowledging that, I notice something else. I can hear some noise coming from the passenger seat. Was somebody up there with Jade? I ask Rook about this. Oh, you noticed, huh? Inumi? Inumi? Inumi. Do you want to say hey? Oh my. Oh god. Oh. Look at this gay boy. Oh! oh. This, is a, this, is, this is a noise, right? At, like, straight up. Noise! You're poisonous! <laughs> what? Me? Yes! Do it! <laughs> uh, hey... He retreats just as quickly as he appeared. Huh? I haven't the faintest idea who that was. Hey look, it was noise. He said hey and ran. <laughs> I mean, yeah, literally! <laughs> I like him. Oh, oh! That was Clay's brother, Inumi. Clay's brother? Hey. But he looks nothing. <laughs> it's Clay's brother, Inumi. He was right, but Rook cuts him off. Was he putting on some sort of act? If anything, it was for Inumi's benefit. I decided to play along, as does Kilo. Oh, I, I see. Well, that's cool. Very Good job, cool Kila. Indeed. Right. <laughs> I can't tell if he's sincere or not. Well, moving on. I should go over the basics with you two. Simple is just a bit quiet again. Am I too quiet? You were, yeah. It's just the type of voice I'm using, I guess. Well, it's fine now, it's just because you keep moving your mic. I don't know why, I just... I had to fix it on my head, I guess. Okay. Just stuff to know before I let you wonder. Make sure you're paying attention, alright? Feel free to take notes if you need to. Kilo and I learnt, lean forward, and listened intently. Here's a book for the both of you two to have. It lists common Japanese phrases inside. I suggest learning a few common ones. I do normally scream. She does. <laughs> Namely, I don't understand Japanese. <laughs> Dick. I'm probably assuming here, so I'm sorry. But I doubt you could hold a conversation. Oh, and if the citizens call you Gaijin? Well, that's a term of endearment. It's nice to know that Rook can be civil and polite. For once, he's actually helping us. I assumed his default mode was condescend everyone. He hands each of us a book. I put mine in my pocket. It's definitely travel sized. I'm sure it'd help. That was one of the things I was actually worried about. If someone tried to talk to me and I couldn't talk back? Oh, I almost
almost forgot. There's one last thing you should know. It relates to current events in Tokyo. It's mostly superstition, of course. But I've got everything... Ugh. But it's got everything... Everything ever... God. But it's pat, got pat, everyone pat. up in arms. So it's better that you hear it from me. What is it? Oh. The Midnight Deaths. When did we get into Persona? I'm sorry? <laughs> the Midnight they were what? Talking... That's what they were talking about in chat earlier. I know. <laughs> Tokyo has been hit by suicide and murder. This is literally Persona 3. <laughs> more and more cases with each passing day. But it gets a little weirder than that. All of the cases happen at midnight. Like clockwork, right on the dot. Are, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. <laughs> it's a judgment. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm just judging everyone. I'm scared. It's not as p past midnight for me, but not for you. The deaths have been mysterious in nature. Let me just get my death note out. <laughs> no culprit for the murderers. No evidence. Murders. There's always tomorrow, Terex. That's why it has everybody talking. The crime scenes don't add up at all. What happened is physically impossible. But to us... That's not really important. Why? Why did you bring it up? It's not important. Well, I'm just saying, like, why would you bring it up <laughs> if it's not important? This is bullshit. Oh, well, there's something far more noteworthy. There's something far more noteworthy. And that's when these deaths first started. I'm gonna guess is when the competition was won. What do you mean? Just started a month ago. On the night of our arrival in Tokyo. Dun, dun, dun. What? Dun, dun, dun. Some people think the tour is an ill omen. Maybe Clace is just a murderer. That perhaps being here is the cause of it. What? That's not nice. <laughs> really? That's what you have to say? This is not nice! <laughs> Indeed. No. I hope that explains some things. Not at all. Especially why we kept your arrival quiet. Maybe that. We didn't need any more fanfare around us. Restrictions are even being put upon Clace. So don't feel singled out in all of this. <laughs> Miracle. I mean, we all feel that every day. Mm hmm. Everyone is being affected equally. Here. So to that end, please stay quiet. 
Don't let anybody know why you're here. At least not for the next little while. But I know you're both trustworthy. So just continue as you have been. Koriko, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the soft crew. Grab yourself a drink and enjoy this mysterious persona-based murdery thing that I walked into, apparently. We aren't even doing a press release. At least not until Singe is ready. Singe, what a name. I know, right? Don't trust the captain. He handles these situations with expertise. He's the murderer. He is the murderer. He's kind of like my boss and teacher. <gasps> he's the murderer and he's oh, the apprentice. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt so much when he is the murderer and Rook it's... is gonna feel so betrayed. <laughs> Kilo's gonna be like, but Rook, how could you help him kill people? I, how could we, you... we, we, we trusted you. We put our faith in you. You trust it raw, little squirrel. <laughs> Nom. Teeth. Eye. Done. <laughs> Nom! <laughs> uh. I, generally, I generally thought that said, and don't worry about your endowment. <laughs> wow. Well, Lumi, you're always thinking about little things. <laughs> and don't worry about your enjoyment. <laughs> Do a bit more, more than my faith in him. Ha <laughs> ha Oh buddy. You'll, st you'll still have fun. I guarantee it. That's not creepy at all. No, not at all. Jesus. A few precautions to take. Dude, I'm just giving him the creeper voice. <laughs> <laughs> Later tonight. <laughs> I know this is your hotel, but I read it as our hotel. Later tonight, we'll get you in. Get you to your hotel. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear it, but I will helm screamed as you said hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people in the stream heard it. They wouldn't have heard it because they they were they have it muted. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is still on par for the green. So just don't cause any commotion, okay? Okay. Yes, yes, of course. Don't want to make things worse. Clace must be under enough stress as it is. Yeah. I can tell it's affecting him. All that blood in his paws. It's good that you heard this from me. You know how rumors and grapevines can be. Yeah, Phantom Blackstar, I have a Wilhelm scream on my uh, soundboard, and I just did it. People have received. <laughs> People are even saying he's the killer. Who would think that? They're connecting totally unrelated events. Our arrival has nothing to do with all this. But you know how it works, right? People always need something to blame. A figurehead of all, for all of their problems. I suppose that's true. But they should focus on the real culprit. Clay's is harmless. He couldn't do that. You're telling me. Because it's actually me who does it. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Animix. <laughs> But it's still odd. Suicides are happening at midnight, too. 
It's not just a killer. It's a serial killer. It's something else. It's a force. A force that wrecked not to be reckoned with. <laughs> and whatever it is, we have no idea. Some people are blaming the supernatural. It's a death note! <laughs> but I never really believed in that stuff. It's an anime! The limo slowly comes to a stop. Welcome back, Serene. Wow, this but, is a lot of uh, interesting bonding. We're but this here. just leaves us all in an awkward silence. Well, I guess that means we're here. Thanks for making conversation with me. Bitch, you just creeped us out. Going, even though I was the one making the whole conversation. You just you just creeped us out for like half an hour. <laughs> Even if it was in the realm of the macabre. <laughs> of the macabre. Macabre. Yeah, could have picked a better time. Was your goal to scare us away, Rook? Because it almost worked, you know. Kira's persona is there. <laughs> no comment. Let's go. I mean, he is writing things, so this is totally Kira right here. Right. He leaves the limo with it, saying another word. For a while there, I was starting to feel free. But now, I'm getting bogged down by terms and conditions. TOS! <laughs> <laughs> Though when I think about it, it's not that bad. You can play along if it's for the citizen's benefit. We wouldn't want to let it slip while we're really here. It caused a panic in the middle of Akihabara. Well, here we are. Welcome to Akihabara. Just watch your heads as you exit. <laughs> Wouldn't want to bang them on the way out. Oh yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> we both nod and do as instructed. Electric Town, here we come. Would you like to save your game? Yeah, sure as hell would. would. Full party. No, almost full party. Full party, almost. Ah. <laughs> um, Rook affection negative one. Kill negative affection one. plus one. Uh, all these people with with affections. I need to, like, <laughs> suck up to Rook. <laughs> I didn't say suck Rook, I said suck up. Get your mind to the gar. All right, guys. So that we're we're an hour and a half into that one as well, and it's about half two. And I I know we have things that we need to do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here for tonight. It's been a nice chill stream. We had a little bit of Firewatch, which was nice. We've had a bit of this. I'm totally teasing you all and not letting you see the maid cafe. So you you know you'll want to come back next time and. And see the maid, the rest of the maid cafe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we all know you want to see the the cute boys and possibly girls and possibly boys and possibly both and possibly one of the other, I don't know, in uh, in, <laughs> in maid outfit. We all want to see sinful in uh, in maid outfit. <laughs> um, Thera made of it. Got it. Yep. No. Uh -uh. So, um, yes, you're. I will not go there without you. We will stream the rest of this. I think I can F five and it'll put me back to the menu. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, F5 will take you back to the menu. Even yeah. if it completely, like, fucked up the screen. So, thank you all for coming. <laughs> You'll just need to make sure you ma make the next stream attacks. So, guys, thank you all for being here. I, I will see you all in the next stream. 